it is so good to see you here. Well, Debbie, it's been a long while. Wait a minute. Did you like you like the dress? Yes. Well, uh, when I put this on this morning, I thought of Yellow Day. Yeah. Yeah. Remember you <laughs> Yellow Day? I was thinking that you were reminiscing about color. Yeah. And you know where I got this dress? Uh, Timmy's? No. <laughs> no. Heels. Yeah. yeah. Well. Very nice. Very nice. Well, let's know. Hey, how did you get started? Yeah. Back in 1975, when I first moved to from Ottawa to the good old town of Princeton, Princeton, yeah, that's the yeah. town. Mr. Koyster, Jim Koyster, came to my house and he asked me if I would teach at PCS. He did. And if I could be a principal's really, you know, I thought, oh, really? you know, I thought, wow, yeah. really? Yeah. Sure, I guess I'll give it a try. So that's how I got there. So we did that for a couple of years, afternoons each week, a couple of afternoons. Mm -hmm. And then, um, in between there, somehow I had another baby, so I had some maternity leave. Not oh, my days, not my days. We did not get paid for that. No. <laughs> In 1986, I ended up in grade one and two, and that was a good year too. Yeah. With, oh, you remember Mrs. Bowman? Mrs. Bowman, Nelson Bowman. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. that was a while ago. No, no, no. Yeah. Yes, well, I did that for a while, and then grade two and three with Olive Hutchinson. Oh. You remember Olive, oh. don't you? Yes, wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful yeah. time. She was an inspiration to me. She sure was. Yeah, she was dead. And we had, oh, we had such a good time together in that class. Fun times. Fun times. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, then Mrs. Summers retired in 1995. Yes, 95. Oh, wow. That's a lot ago. And then I applied for the kindergarten job and I got the job. Wow. Isn't that good? Yeah. That I was good. so excited. Kindergarten teacher. Started grade 7, 8, got down to kindergarten. Yeah. 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 You see, most people graduate, they go up, you know, up no, there. Yeah, that's right. I am. Yeah. <laughs> well, okay. Well, how about you, Margaret? How did it start for you? Well, Yeti, you know, I wanted to get back into teaching again. Yeah. But, yeah. I had my kids said, and in September 1990, there was an opening at the school for, in the primary. I thought, great. And uh, I applied, but I didn't get it. <laughs> No, no. You remember Penny Bailey? Do you remember oh, her? Yes, Penny, nice lady. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, she applied. Yeah. And, and she got it. Oh. <laughs> because, well, uh, they yeah. said she had primary experience. Experience is what it's all about. It's all about. Yep. Well, yeah. so, but you know what? I, uh, I just you know, just waited, right? Yeah. And I kept an eye. You're pretty patient. Yeah, yeah, I was patient. Yeah, yeah. And, but then, there was Micah Grohman. Oh, she was a newlywed. Remember? I remember Micah. Yeah. Micah. Now, she got pregnant. Of course. <laughs> of course. And she got Yes, yes. And I was hired in 1991, in January. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Now sure. I remember a long time ago. It's been quite a run, hasn't it, Margaret? Quite a run. We've had some very memorable times. Yes, yes. I'll say, I remember. Yeah. It was the year I was teaching grade three and four in what is now the library. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, yet at that time, mice, mice used to walk quite freely throughout the school. Oh, don't tell me. I, 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 I do not. If you were working late at night, which we were, yes. we were, we were a lot of late nights, yeah. 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 You just had to stand quite quick in the hall, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. and you would see these mice scurry from room to room. Yes. 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 I would have ran out. Yep. Well, <laughs> were you? Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, well, I had this one student, and he was sitting in the last seat along the window side, mm -hmm. and he noticed a mouse come out of the back heating vent yeah. and running towards the heating vent at the front. Well, this student was as quick as water, jumped out of the seat, 
and snatch that mouse before it has a chance to disappear into the duck. Really? It did? Yep, he did. It. What happened to the mouse? Well, I'm not sure. Because this student was attached to this mouse. Right? But, yes, he liked mice. And so, we probably let it go outside. But you know yet what happened, right? That mouse just turned around and came right back in again. Oh, it's cozy. Cool. Yeah, cozy, cool. yeah. Cool. yeah. Fine. Well, you know, this student must have liked mice because a few days later, a few days later, you know what he came to school with? A box. With a whole family of mice. Wow. Yeah, he caught it. He went out to his field and he just brought a whole box of mice. Well, I don't think that that box of mice ever made it into the school. I think he just left it outside. Yeah, well, I hope you're at home. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. right. Oh, nice. That was a good one. Yep. I thought, oh, that was good one. Now, what about this one? Okay. <laughs> uh, in 1999, January 1999, we had an ice cream. Huh? Yes. Yes. Ice cream? Oh, I remember okay. that. Okay. Yes. The buses couldn't pick up any other kids. We had buses then. Because they had to wait for a call from the MTO, Ministry yes. yeah. of Energy, yeah. and, yeah. 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 and they had to wait to tell us that the roads were salted. Otherwise, they wouldn't come out. Well, 6 o'clock, no call. Kids were still at school. Hmm. Kids were getting a little, you know, antsy-pantsy. Yeah. yeah. And then we had the Cox family. Do you remember them? Yes. Oh, they yeah. came out with a truckload of stew, cans of stew, soup, spaghetti, spaghetti sauce. And the children had supper served to them in the gym. Yeah. We were making yeah. supper. They, they thought they were spending the night. Oh, yeah. 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 Well, slowly the kids, you know, parents came trickling in, picking them up. It was quite a night. Everyone was picked up by about 7.30. Now, most of the kids thought it was pretty exciting. Big adventure. But a few of them, you know, got a little anxious. They got a little anxious when it started to get dark and they started to cry a little, you know. Uh, Jeremy Vandenberg. Hey, I gotta tell you this. Jeremy Vandenberg. Do you remember him? Yes. Oh, nice kid. Yeah. He was so excited. He was running through the halls and after eating supper, he says, oh, oh, good. Can we sleep at school? Can we sleep at school? Wow. Did you want to sleep in the gym with a lot of little yeah, No. <laughs> Anyways. Of course, this happened to be on a day when Mr. Postma was well, at his principal's meeting. He was, yes, he yes. missed all the fun. Yes, yes. Missed the fun. Yes. Well, that was my fun time at yes. the Margaret. Well, talk about fun. You had some fun? Oh, yes, we had fun. I remember we'd gone to Winston Park. And after spending the morning at the Baxter Conservation Park, remember? Yeah, yeah. they used to, and um, we had done a pond study in the morning, and it was a really a hot, hot day, right? And uh, we played some water games, and, and I brought some pails, and, and I brought, we brought two garbage bags full of water balloons. Well, you know what that is. That's right. Wow. Well, we got wet. But then, a student got the bright idea Yeah, we did wrestle on that tail. And, and, and yeah. I know one. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I didn't get wet. No, no, no. no. <laughs> oh, I didn't think so. She, she had to sit out in the sun for a while. Yeah. <laughs> well, you mentioned water. I have one for you too about water. Okay. Well, this was in grade two and three. Okay, I was teaching grade two and three. We were naming all kinds of bodies of water. You know, like rivers, oceans, lakes, streams, puddles, brooks, all those kinds of stuff. Well, one boy raised his hand and he said, I know a brook. Yeah, right? Yeah. 
Well, I've got another story for you. Just picture this. Yeah. I'm teaching, you know, and of course the kids are all attentive, you know, they're like all, in, as yeah. usual. Yeah, as usual, yeah, yeah. And when out of the right, yeah. Yeah. And um, one student asked me, well, how can you be a grandma? You're a teacher. You know, all the time. Now, how do you figure it out? No, no. And another one said, well, if you're a grandma, can I still, can you still be my aunt? <laughs> yeah, I can still be your aunt. Well, you can be both. Well, anyway, that was my French lesson in there. I don't, I don't, we didn't do any more French after no. that. No, no, no. Well, how do you do that? The end of the lesson. Yeah. Well, you know, Yeti. What I really miss are the devotions mm -hmm. and the singing with the kids. Mm -hmm. They love learning the new songs and doing the actions. And they talk openly about their love for Jesus. They do. They do. They're so honest. The children, you know, we had shared prayers. Yes. Wonderful. Wonderful. I know. Because they. Children would not pray for themselves. They would pray for their families. Yes. They would pray for somebody that was sick in the church. Mm -hmm. They prayed for uh, our school community. Mm -hmm. You know? And very special time. That was very special, special time, time, right? And what a blessing. That yes. is such a blessing. Yes. I remember something like that, too. It was uh, in 1997, and just after my dad passed away, I was talking about it to my kindergarten class. One student raised his hand, Margaret, and he asked me if my dad loved Jesus. Mm. I said, yes, he did. Well, he said, then that's all right, because now he has a new life in heaven. Oh, wow. You know, God again that morning showed me his love and comfort through this very young student. Yes. What a blessing. What I love those times. Yes, wonderful times. <laughs> Do you remember some of the funny things the children have said? Oh, do I ever? Wow. Yes, kids can come out with the funniest thing. The funniest thing. Well, it must have been around Mother's Day. Yeah. yeah. Because this student said, my mother is special because she does all the work. Really? That's pretty special. Uh, that was pretty special. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I think I can pop that one. Oh, you can? Yeah, I'm ready. Are you ready? Okay, here we go again. One day. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. One day for show and tell. You know, it loves show and tell. One of the students is in front of the class, and he says, my cat died. Pretty sad. Yeah, yeah pretty, pretty sad. sad. Yeah. Well, then after that, we always have questions. So we just, any questions? And hands go up, and no questions. We always have questions. Yeah. And uh, one child asks, well, how did he die? And the boy just stands there. His eyes roll back in his head. His knees buckle. No. His tongue hangs out. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, really? Are you all right? How long did he lay there? Ten seconds. Ten seconds. <laughs> Ten seconds he stayed on the floor. Well, I thought that was pretty exciting. A rock, like a log, still is a log, just stay there. <laughs> the kids thought it was mine, that's exactly what they wanted to see. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, your kindergarten class sure is funny. Yeah. Well, what other funny things have your kids come up with there? This was another student talking about their mom. Sure. We learn a lot about moms, don't we? <laughs> 